Hey guys, welcome to the Redesign with Prima Facebook group. I am Leah and I'm the owner of Leah Noel Design Co. And I am a brand ambassador here at Redesign with Prima. And I am back. I had a two week vacation, uh, but I'm so excited to be back in the shop. This is like my first real day back in the shop. So I am just like buzzing with creativity and I'm ready to work. So um, today we are gonna work on some purses. And you guys have probably seen a lot of the ambassadors working on purses, uh, redesign with Prima has come up with some awesome handbags and we have had the opportunity to decorate them um, in our choosing. So this is one that I have finished and you know what, if you guys are on, let me know because it looks like, okay, I can see one person. Looks like it's gonna work correctly. Um, it's probably Miss Roz Robertson. So if you're here, say hello. This is, this is one of the purses I've created, and there are several purses that you can order from Redesign with Prima um, from your retailer, and they there should be a picture here in the group. When I post mine, I will post the uh, I will post the purses that you can order with it. But I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys what other purses there are. So that I have. So I did one like this for my daughter in pink. It was it was like pink and purple, and we did some florals on it. And I haven't designed this one yet. There's this little one, which is so cute. Um, I really love this one, and it's hard for me to find a design for it because I feel like I, I feel like I want to save it. Like I want to save it for a really good idea. So um, this is one of the little purses. I think it would look really cute hand painted. In fact, I was just in Waco with Anissa, who's my artist friend from this and that this weekend. And I wish I would have brought this to have her hand paint. You can hand paint these too, with just acrylic paints or chalk paints or whatever you want. You can hand paint them. The other one. So this one here, um, I didn't do the back cause I didn't have enough of the transfer and I thought the front was just enough. This is the actual color of this handbag. And this is a blush, like a blushy, it's a blush leather. Um, and I used the French ceramics transfer in French ceramics one transfer. It was a scrap I had left over. I did a whole entire dresser. I did a cheese board and I did this with that transfer, um, over the period of like a year because it, you know, it took some time to do. So this is one of the ones that I did. Um, I'm going to show you how to seal it right now too, before we actually get into doing the other transfer. And this is the one we're going to do today. So this one was this brown color, okay? And this brown color is not really my, I, I wasn't feeling it with any other transfer, so I painted it. I don't know what color I used. I wanna say this is Vintage Duck Egg from Dixie Belle, it's one of the teals. Um, but I just painted this and you could totally paint your leather. If you guys, if, I don't know if you guys know that or not. And we're gonna go ahead, I think we're gonna either use Postal Birds, you guys tell me if you wanna see Postal Birds on it. Or, if you guys would like to see the wildflower, and as I'm looking at it, I think the wildflower transfer is going to look really cool. How to seal these? Now, when I did my, um, when I did a live on these a couple weeks ago, I had recommended using Renaissance. It's like an oil-based wax. I used it on the, the backpack, and I didn't like the way it sealed. Um, I've used this stuff. Let me show you what it is. This is what I had used to seal my transfers on the purses. This I used on um, the, this one, which this texture is a little different. This isn't leather, okay? So I had used this. I had put transfers on a bag like this and I used this wax. Um, it didn't hold up well for me with the wax. The wax made it sticky and, and I think that it is a combination of the wax and the material on that, that bag. Um, I use this when I paint shoes. This is what I seal it with. So this stuff has worked for me on other materials. It didn't work well on the purses. So I asked, uh, I asked some of the other brand ambassadors like, Hey, what are you guys using to seal? And Chelsea from Apple Blossom Way had said she was using, um, this, which is like a Krenlon spray. I can't stand the smell of this stuff. So I prefer, I'm going to use the Rust-Oleum matte finish. Um, and I'm gonna show you just how I would seal it right here, right now. So this is already put on, and all I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna spray it. And that's it. 
I'm just gonna spray it. And she said, this is gonna hold up a lot better. So if you guys are, oh, I should not have done that without whew, opening the garage door. Um, so we'll look at that towards the end. If you remind me, we'll look at that. But I wanna show you actually how to put the transfers on purses and we're gonna design one here with you today. Um, I cannot see your comments. I don't know, I don't know why. Um, if you are on the Leah Noel Design Co. page and you're commenting, I can see them later, but it won't let me see the comments unless you're in the redesign with Prima Group. So just an FYI. Okay, so let's, let's get to designing today. So I painted this one before I left. I had a trip to Waco, Texas, and I was in Scottsdale, Arizona, so I am just so happy to be back. Um, okay, so this is chalk paint on here. And we're gonna go ahead, and I'm not sure, I'm gonna kind of lay out, I'm gonna turn this down a little, just so you guys can see better. Hi, Nina. Oh, I'm so glad comments are working. I can see, I can see you said hello. Okay, so this is the wildflower transfer, and this is the center one. Um, and I kind of like these colors against this. So I am in between wildflowers, and just doing a couple postal birds. And I'm thinking postal birds might be the winner. Um, or the postal birds. What do you guys think? The wildflower, I think I'm going to go with postal birds, honestly. I want to use the wildflower, but I think the postal birds will just kind of go around this easier. So let's just go for it. Okay. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to think about how I could fit my birds. This bird is way too big. And if you guys know me, I have, I used to have an irrational fear of birds. So it kind of feels weird putting birds on something. Um, but I think that, I, I just think they're really pretty. These ones are really pretty. Um, I'm going to use this down here first. And then I think I'm going to use some of these other ones. So let me just go ahead and cut this out. I want to use this postmark marky stuff. So I'm just going to go ahead and cut around my transfer. And I'm going to put this right here. And the reason I'm going to do that is I just want to kind of have uh, some background so it's not just birds. And in here I have so in this purse here I took a um a piece of cardboard from like one of my boxes that I received paint shipments in and I just sliced it off the edge and I'm gonna stick this in here um I still have all the padding in here okay so I still have all the padding in here and I'm just gonna slip this in here to just make it a little bit more firm so that it's easier to rub this transfer on. So, the redesign with Prima transfers, if you guys are not familiar with them, let me turn this light off, I can't see. There we go. Okay, so, um, the redesign with Prima transfers, out of all the transfers that you can get, these are the stickiest, which is awesome. Oh, that's going to fit perfect right there. So they're really easy to put on things like purses, like right here. This is not going to be hard because it's just, it has really good adhesion. This is my transfer tool. You can buy these, but most of the time I just use my stick, which comes with the transfer. So I'm just going to, I'm going to just use my stick. Okay. I'm gonna be real close to you so I can see if you guys have questions or anything. And I'm gonna start from the top down. Once I kind of get it adhered a little bit, I'll lift it up so that you can see. 
me see if there's something I can bump this up with. Um, let's use this. And this is nice fill. It's almost like, you know, when I'm trying to design a purse or shoes or a dresser especially, it's almost like wrapping a gift. Sometimes, like, when you're trying to make a gift pretty, you have to put the fill in. Like, you have to put, like, the, um, you put the tissue paper and you put the shred, you know, and you're wrapping that gift really pretty. I feel like this is kind of, and then you have, like, the actual gift. I feel like this is kind of like the fill. It just kind of makes the design more complete. Hi, Lisa. I like to just use the corner, the corner of my stick is um, always the best for just getting these down, especially these the smaller things here. So I did one of these purses for my daughter and now all of her friends, they all want one. <laughs> She's like out here like, and this one's for Carson and this one's for Emily and this one's for Charlie. And I'm like, no, they're not. <laughs> Hi, Luen, Lou Ellen. Miss Lou Ellen, um, she's on the Redesign with Prima team too. I just got to spend a whole week with her in Waco, Texas, and it was amazing. She taught me how to paint on canvas, um, and we, ha we got to spend a little extra time together painting in our room. And this is the point where I start getting a little impatient, and I just kind of want to get it on. Come on. The smaller they are, the longer they take. So this, like, this is very tedious right here. What? Hi, Reagan. I'm live, honey. Um, so the smaller they. Hola! I stole my mother's hat. No, you need to hop on that Zoom call with your teacher at one. I know. Okay. Hmm. Have you eaten today? Yes. What did you eat? My breakfast. What do you have for breakfast? Cereal. Mm. Healthy. That's not healthy. Yes, it's healthy. And I'm going to eat out. Okay. We're doing a purse. I know, for me. For you? Yeah. Nope. This one's for me. That one's for me. Have, like, I thought you wanted to give them all to your friends. You changed your mind, huh? No, I wanted to give them to my friends, but you said no. I did say no. I can't make enough. Buy more. Guys, tell her she has to buy more. 
I'm going to go ahead and leave and stop embarrassing you. You're not embarrassing me. Bye. I'm going to go embarrass me too now. Okay. We have e-learning today because it is, um, the schools are used for the polling stations in my town. Like I said, <laughs> the smaller they are, the more tedious it is. Oh, thanks, Lewin, Llewellyn. I'm always going to call you Lewin. <laughs> Lewin. Her name's Llewellyn, but I read it as Lewin, and I'm so sorry. I just, it sticks in my brain like that. And the hat is from Amazon. My favorite thing to do is search um, 1920s hats and, like, 1950s dresses and stuff like that on Amazon and I get such a cool like there's so many cool um, things that pop up okay so I'm gonna slowly peel this away smaller the more tedious it is so <laughs> even called worse oh my goodness um okay so we have a little I kind of just like that on there I really like the postal look um I'm gonna come up through here let's see I want to decide which bird I want to use before I go forth I'm thinking this blue bird is a must and I kind of like it with this underneath so I'm gonna go ahead and just cut that out right here It's so hard. I think the hardest time I have is deciding which transfers I want to use on what. Like, if I use this on here, I don't know that I would use it on furniture. You can, but I don't know. Sometimes I have a hard time deciding if I'm going to use it again on furniture. Okay, so this is going to set just a little bit higher. So I'm just going to cut this out, and I'm going to set these words on the bottom. And then I'm going to overlap the bird because I don't want it to cross this. So let's see how fast I can get this one on. Has anyone had any purse parties? I know my mom had asked me, she's like, well, will you do a purse party with me? Um, to do like, to just have the transfers and to just like have your friends over and just create your own purses. I think it would be great for a shop or a store or just like a girl's night. You just, like a, a couple transfers go a long way. I'm just gonna push this cardboard down a little bit and I'm just going to help it give some firmness on the back side here. That one was a lot quicker. Okay. 
And now I'm going to come in with the bird. And I'm going to go over the words just a little. So I'm just layering. My hand in the back here is helping a lot. Just kind of trying to like, you know, to push back where I'm like, where I'm rubbing it down. Having my hand inside the purse here is helping a whole bunch. Oh, that's pretty. I love it. I love it. It's nice and simple. Yes, please do one. Llewellyn, I wish I would have brought that little black one and you could have painted on it too. I don't, I don't freehand well. All right, so I think it just needs a little more of something up here. So I'm just going to kind of search the transfer. Um, and kind of see. I, I, I'm thinking a flower or a bird or something just a little bit more but not too much I have smaller birds over here somewhere so I have scrap birds from other transfers and I think I'm just going to use one of these I don't know which transfers these are from I want to say they're from Persian butterfly, but I'm not quite sure. And I think that little dude's gonna look cool right there. And maybe this one down here. That's kind of what I'm thinking. I'm gonna put him right here like he's sitting on this little silver thing. I love that bird. That one might be my favorite. And I don't know much about birds, so I don't know if these birds are like supposed to be together or not, but you know, they're out, they're going to they're going to hang out on the same purse, you know, like flocking birds, birds that like hang out. You know, like robins and blue jays and to the same area. You know what I mean? Okay, and then we're going to put this little dude right here. I think that's a woodpecker. Or do we like this one better? This one kind of looks mean to me. She looks like, mind your own business. That's what this bird looks like to me. Oh, I'm going to use, um, I use this to seal. Uh, Chelsea from Apple Blossom Way recommended this. And that's what I'm using. So I don't know, this woodpecker? Hmm. Or mind your business bird. Which one do you guys like? Woodpecker? Mind your business. Woodpecker, what do you guys think? What do you guys think? Um, I'll give you a second. And I'm just going to rub these down. Somebody give me an answer. I know it's hard. Sometimes comments, um, if you're commenting on the Leanna Wall Design Co. page, uh, I don't, I can't see them. If you're commenting in the Redesign with Prima Group, I can. 
I'm gonna cut this little stick out and just stick it in this corner while I'm waiting. Um, you guys tell me. Woodpecker. Okay, Llewellyn, we're doing the woodpecker. Let me go ahead and just stick this stick right here. This is just a little filler right here too. But it kind of just makes this naked corner complete. And let's put Woody the woodpecker. And I tore her feet off somehow. It's all right. I'm going to set her low. Okay. I think this needed some pink. So good choice, Llewellyn. So now I'm just pushing the air bubbles out. Okay. Now I don't know, I don't know if I need something right here or if that's gonna be too much. Let me see what I have. I'm gonna use another transfer scrap because I don't wanna use another bird. This is from um, Cosmic Roses. And I think just a little bit through here is gonna be perfect. Just a little vine. Perfect. Oh, that's perfect. Right here. Just a little blue. See you later, Llewellyn. Thanks for hanging out. Hi, Miss Jan. So I'm just using the corner here. We're gonna put this on and then we're gonna seal it up. Um, and then I'm gonna go take some pictures of these today. Now it's on. I'm just going to adhere it like this and just make sure everything is pushed down. And this has the chalk paint on it. If you guys remember when I, if you guys weren't here in the beginning, um, I showed this one and we just sprayed it with the matte sealer. It's totally just, it's soft and it was just over the leather. Um, this is painted leather and I'm going to seal it the exact same way. So I just, everything's adhered down. i just give it one more rub. Make sure medium pressure. And then I'm just gonna spritz it. And that's it. There we go. Isn't that cute? So I am going to, um, I'm actually, I'm gonna take some photos of these today and I'll be sharing them on my page later this week along with the um the other pink ones so thank you guys for joining i will be back next tuesday at noon uh central standard time here in the redesign with prima group to bring you another fun craft and hopefully we'll be working on furniture next week so um i will talk to you guys later have an awesome tuesday Bye bye